Uh, you know who else is unbothered by it? Uh, Shakari Richardson. I was actually a guest on Charles Blow's show last night talking about this situation. Of course, we know Shakari Richardson, a uh, beautiful young lady uh, who uh, is not going to be running in the Olympics this year because of the uh, failed marijuana test. Uh, fastest woman in the United States, won the 100 meters um, qualifier, but of course the uh, drug test uh, disqualified her and left off the 4 by 100 meter team. But Shakari already starting the comeback because you know what the first thing that you need in the comeback is the right mindset am i right sharon you got to have the right mindset you got to get your mind right not while on the pass and she is saying that she is unbothered by all of it and i love to hear it yeah um i love her and i hope she is and i mm. believe her when she says she's already started eyes set on the next one right and i think what she only has to wait three mm -hmm. years because of everything that happened and covid and the whole thing i don't I'm, I'm bothered by the word unbothered because for an olympic athlete who sets their sights on a goal remember when when you're training for it to make the olympics this is mm -hmm. you have tunnel vision one mission mm -hmm. this is all i'm about and to have it snatched from you she says i did this she acknowledged it she owned it and we don't agree with it even being on the table in the first place but it happened i um we're different people i just i can't relate because to me i wouldn't wallow in the past either and i'd be eyes set on the next olympics but that would fuel me i'd be so bothered mm -hmm. by what i did what was taken from me however you want to tee it up that that would fuel me to every day wake it up like I'm going to prove. I'm going to show. I'm going to prove. You'll oh. see. You'll see. It's maybe so you just a use word. It. You use it as motivation. Yes. Like, like you know how Michael so bother, Jordan bother. is like, oh, right. okay. So, oh, okay. You're going to see so, all so, summer. So in, in a sense, it, it, you're right. I, I'm, I'm listening to what you're saying there because at first I was like, I'm bothered. But, you know, you got to put it in the past. But maybe something like that should bother you just a little bit to yeah. add to that motivation. Not that she really needs the motivation and fuel because she's a competitor, right? And a lot of times when you're a competitor like that, you don't necessarily need it. But if you can get that extra sense to put you over the top, maybe you should allow it to bother you every single day. Maybe put some headlines up of people talking about you or whatnot. Because, yeah, I've done that in the past. I don't know if you've done that as well. But, yeah, I, I, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, it's like, remember when Michael Jordan retired and went off to play baseball with the Barons? His father had mm -hmm. been murdered. His father had that dream. And he said, now's the time to do it. And then there was that strike thing that conveniently happened. And he said, I'm not going to be mm -hmm. a scab. I'm not going to cross the lines. I'm going to right. go back to basketball. And that's where we wanted him anyway. That's what we needed. And the buzz started. He showed up. And then he was back. And we saw flashes of him at the highest level, but it wasn't enough. They didn't get to the finals. And then you knew come roaring back, mm -hmm. right? What was he doing all mm -hmm. summer? I will, I, maybe the Pistons beat him that year, I can't remember. Um, all summer, he the said. Magic. And remember, guys like Kobe, guys like Michael Jordan, they created, mm -hmm. even when there was no snub, you might have just shook their mm -hmm. hand. Remember, we, we all saw the last dance, we read the book, the Jordan rules, all of it. You mm -hmm. shook their hand, just said, hey Mike, nice to see you as a competitor. In his mind, he switched that to, you talked about his mama, because when you're a competitor at that high level, you need mm -hmm. more to fuel you as time moves on. And so that's mm -hmm. just who I would be. You know, I don't like the way he's right. looking at me. And some Good people morning. use that for Did different ways. And said, I like what you just said, said, because coming off when they lost to the Orlando Magic, when he came back, uh, Shaq and Penny went on to the finals that same summer the next year is when the Bulls had their greatest season ever, 72-10. and 10. Michael was the regular season Magical. MVP, finals MVP. I think he was the uh, all-star game MVP, won a championship. He did everything that year, you. and he was just had an amazing year. But that's the type of competitor that he is, as you mentioned. That's a great example, Sharon, because let's go all the way back. You know how Michael Jordan first started? <laughs> having that competitive edge and using slights to his advantage mm -hmm. go all the way back to when he was in high school and he got cut, cut. on the varsity mm -hmm. team 
and he still remembers to this day the guy who beat him out for that final spot on that high school team. He used that as motivation throughout his career. And like you said, <laughs> always, yeah, he brought him up at his Hall of Fame speech. So, Stop. yeah, maybe she no. it should be a, slightly bothered, just slightly, but use that as the motivation you need to become the world champion that you say you're going to be. And, of course, we're going to be rooting for you in, what, 2024 when, you know, for the Olympics uh, the next time around. Yeah. I'm yeah, and I think one, we're okay. all different, as I said. You know, so what fuels her is working, obviously. She willed herself mm -hmm. to the, you know, the top spot. So I don't tell her what to think or how to feel or how to train. She's got that. I'm just saying the word unbothered. It's, maybe it's a generational thing, like, eh, mm -hmm. I'll see you next Olympics. But she, I do think she'll achieve it. So there it is.